Right here on my desk, I've got a tablet, which is actually not my tablet, since I borrowed it to make this video. But on this tablet, I'm running a program called Blender. That's a program that can be used to create 3D animations. But there is one big drawback about creating 3D animations on a tablet. Rendering the animation will take a very long time since tablets do not have that much processing power. Luckily, there is a way to speed up the rendering process on tablets and other slow computers. It's called Network Rendering, and today I'm going to show you how to do just that. So first of all, let's see what Network Rendering actually is. It's quite a simple concept. Instead of rendering the animation on its own using its own slow processor, the slower computer offloads the render job to one or more powerful computers on the network. These computers then render the animation and send the finished product back to the main PC. In Blender, this is very easy to achieve. There's a client, the computer that you use to create the animation, there's a master, the computer that manages the video rendering jobs, and there are one or more slaves. Those are the computers that actually render the animation. Today we're going to keep it simple. We'll only use one slave, and the master and the client will be on one computer. The client slash master PC will be the tablet, and the slave will be my recently upgraded desktop computer. Now, I've opened up Blender, as you can see, on the tablet. Now, let's go to File, then Open, and open up the little animation that I've made. Now, actually, this is a very, very basic animation. It's just this cube right here, moving from one end of the screen to the other, as you can see. So, actually, I have already rendered this animation using just the tablet and the Cycles rendering engine, because that's the one I prefer. And it took the tablet about 27 minutes to get this animation rendered. So, now, let's configure our network rendering system and then see if it's faster. So, the first thing that we need to do is go to File, then click User Preferences and type Render in the search box. Then we need to make sure that Network Render is enabled. And when that's done, we can click Save User Settings and get rid of this window. Now we want to click on this drop-down menu and select Network Render, after which we can go right here and click Client, because this instance of Blender is going to be the client. Then we can minimize this window and open up another instance of Blender. In this instance, we also select Network Render, and then this one is set to Master, after which we click Start Service. Then we need to go to the Desktop Computer. On this computer, we also open up Blender, then go to Network Render, and then set it to Slave Mode. After that, we can also click Start Service. It will now automatically connect to the master, since the tablet is connected to the same local network as the desktop computer. So now it's time to find out if it actually works. This right here is the screen of the tablet computer, and this right here is the screen of the desktop computer. And as you can see, I've opened up Task Manager so that we can see the activity of the CPU, um, so that we can see if it's actually doing anything. So now let's go over to the tablet, and just click on Send Job to start the process, like that. See if it works. Look at that. As you can see, the desktop CPU is now processing our animation. And even though this is a fast CPU, it's still going to take a while, so I'm now going to stop filming and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's now done, and it took about 10 minutes, which is quite fast. Actually, that's much faster than it would have been on the tablet itself. Now there is only one thing left that we have to do, which is stitching these rendered frames back together into a video file so that we can actually watch it, which is what we're going to do now. So now you can simply select the destination of the video file on the tablet right here, 
after which you can click this little icon. Then the tablet will start downloading the rendered frames from the slave computer and stitch them together into the final video. This will take about 40 seconds, so it's not that long. Then you can simply navigate to the folder you selected and watch the video. For convenience, I put the video on my desktop, so now let's watch the final result. So there you go. Now you know how to use network rendering in Blender. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.